All right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 17th of September. Man, already half the way through, through the month of September. Woof. Man, we got a lot of drinking going on here this month. We got four events this week. Matter of fact, two Piedmont tastings back to back, a cooking class at Cafe Max, and then our vintage Bordeaux tasting this Friday, which is already sold out. We've already had a waiting list for that one. And, you know, a lot of the events here at the store, we only have 15 spaces for it. So. For 200 bucks, you get to taste eight wines going all the way back to the 1949 vintage. Wow. How do we do it? We lose a little on every sale. We make it up in volume, just like with this sale, the Los Cantos from Finca Torre Milanos. I remember the first time I tasted wine with Antonio from Terra España, the owner of the uh, distributor down here. This guy knows what he's doing. You know, I like to do business with people that specialize in a specific area. These guys know Spain like very few people, in particular, Ribeiro del Duero, and I think 70% of their book is Ribeiro and uh, Tempranillo-based wines, if that. Uh, hardly any of the wines are blend like this. Los Cantos wine and the uh, other wine, the Tour Milanos, uh, these wines are 100% Tempranillo. This is an estate that goes back to the 1903. It's family-owned, and I, we had Ricardo Penalba, the current winemaker, in for uh, tasting a few times here. We've uh, done events with him, and these wines are outstanding, amazing wines. When you look at the price, all organically farmed vineyards from Ribeiro del Duero, uh, all estate-grown, and this wine's under $20 a bottle. This 2009 vintage, an outstanding year. We just happened to get a great deal to take the remaining portion of this that was in inventory, which I like better than 2010. I have to say the 2010 vintage of this wine, which we just wrote up recently in the What I Drank Yesterday part of the email, a nice wine, but considerably lighter than this 2009, which is a much more of a blockbuster in style. Much more what this wine has been like in the past. As I mentioned, it is from 100% organic farm vineyards. Those cantos refer to the rounded river stones, which appear in all of these vineyard sites here. And um, there's five Five different parcels that contribute to this wine and even though it's only one grape the different vineyard sites add complexity to this wine it sees a 35 percent new french oak and uh, this wine is a real crowd pleaser man look at the color on this very dark colored wine with dark cherry and blackberry liqueur like fruit combined with a host of spices some lovely toasty oak notes some brown spices some clove some cinnamon in there from the oak and then big and juicy on the tongue with a host of that dark berry fruit and that spice and really ripe and round tannins this wine's got sweet tobacco in it and fresh earth and a firm hand of acidity holding everything together this wine Really nice little wine. You know, norm, our normal price on it, twenty two fifty. It's a great deal. But for fifteen dollars and fifty cents, that's right, folks. We have got an incredible deal on this wine. While it lasts, we only have ten cases left of this two thousand nine vintage, a real crowd pleaser, the Los Cantos from Finca Torre Milanos. Check it out on this email. We've included uh, whatever else we have from Finca Torre Milanos in stock. They're one of the only producers of Cava, the only producer of Cava in Ribeiro del Duero. And then check out the What I Drank yesterday on this email. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.